Well, everybody, in uh, around the world and in the United States, Laura, Eddie, hanging out <laughs> and doing what the Irish do in the lakes, in the streams, and uh, attempting to catch trout, right? Attempting. Attempting. But that's what it's some all about. Some catch, some haven't yet. Yet. Right, Laura, what we're going to do is this. We're going to be moving up the river here. And uh, everything's flowing towards us right now. Okay, it's shallow in areas. There's some nice drop-offs. But the fish will generally set up in this. I've seen two fish come up to the surface. So what we've got to do is we've got our length in front of us. Okay, and then we've got to work the fly back just slowly. The strike indicator does not need to be influenced. Just let it come with that flow. Then put it back on there again. Let it flow. So you're going to sort of cast, 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 cast in front, just moving it across and then we'll move up. All right, so Laura's just going out here. We've seen some fish up in the water in front of us over here and uh, she's been working on a casting to try and get it out there. It's a little tricky because there's a bit of wind but they're definitely taking on the top water just in front of us here. We've got the right flies in now we just got to get the fly to the fish. Right well now we're coming up to this next section. I'm just standing here with Laura who's working with me here on the stream today. And uh, just looking up ahead there, there is a, a very nice white water rapid but there's also two breaks and we're going to try and fish both of those breaks. I'm going to take the one on the uh, left hand side and I'm going to fish up into that sort of water. The other one's just slightly calmer but it gives you a nice line so you can get your casting. And um, and then we're going to try and work that. Now we can see the fish still breaking and there's a hatch. It's on and then it's off and then it's on and then it's off, but it's there. Nice and sunny today for Ireland. Extremely beautiful. If you have a look down the lake and you just look at that and the beautiful sunshine today. It's just a stunning day. You know, yesterday was just absolutely pouring. And this is why the streams are, uh, have filled up again. You know, apparently they were really down and uh, they've come back up again. So... This is what we're going to do right now. How's your experience so far today, Laura? Uh, it's been great. It's been really good. Um, I haven't caught a fish yet, but... Um, getting the casting going. We did a little bit of casting. casting yeah, we did some it's casting. So Laura's doing pretty well with that. And she wants to work uh, some water in the Gunpowder River in the United States. And uh, we need to uh, just get that casting going to get that extra length and get the confidence of it. Right, everybody, check it out. So this is a mayfly. This is a little mayfly. This is what they're this is what they're after. So one thing I like to do is uh, this is actually a very good uh, dry fly today. It, it it resembles the mayfly. Has a little bit of heckle as a parachute formation around it, and it has that little wing that comes up, which is extremely important. That is also your strike indicator. And then I've dropped it off with this little. Nymph. So there's two cycles here. There's the nymph in the water before it's before it's hatched, and then there is the mayfly when it has hatched. All right, there we go. It was only a matter of time. Okay. Now the net, the, the net that I have, special gelatine net, lovely silicone, doesn't harm the fish. And there you go. The flies come out. Beautiful little fish. Lovely colors, look at that. Stunning. And that just makes your day when you catch one of those. So catch and release only into the current and just let it go. And off it goes. Thank you, Hish. There it is sitting on the bottom beautifully. Stunning. Laura's just working that spot right now. Same shoot down there. We've got a couple of good takes right by the edge of the shoot as it got into the deeper water over there. So just trying it out. I've sort of moved up just to try to see what other water there is up ahead. I know that there's a nice chute coming up in front of us, so we're going to get right on that. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there it is, day two. And uh, what a great day out there today. We found some better fish. Um, and uh, although, you know, 
tricky region to fish. There's a lot of trees. There's a lot of uh, very difficult water, but we found a style that worked, and that was what's important here today. Um, and you know, from here, hopefully, we get some rainbow trout tomorrow. We're going to go out to get uh, some uh, lake fish. Uh, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. If the weather stays like this, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Hey guys, this is day three, and we've come to a members trout hatchery here in Kilkenny in Ireland, and. Uh, Yep, it's browns and rainbows today. There's some big fish in the water. A uh, chap over there caught a 13 pound brown just now, so that's huge. Laura's got a fish. Beauty. All right, Laura, nice hit. Get it up there, get it up there. Keep your tension, keep your tension on top. Keep your tension on top. Keep your tension here. Yeah, right up from here. Okay, give it line if it needs a line. How does that feel, Laura? Pretty good? Lift it up above the weeds. Lift it up above the weeds. That's it. All right. This is actually Laura's second one. I didn't get the first one on camera, so she's working it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work it from there. Work it with your hand. That's it. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. I'll bring it up towards the surface. Bring it to this area over here, to the net. Don't get it in the reeds. I said, work it over. Nice. All right, now start working it by using this line here. Pull that line towards you. Get ready to let it go again. Leave that loose. Right. This line. That's it. Now get it back up. Get it up. Get it up. That's it. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Awesome. Keep bringing it. Keep bringing it. That's it. There you go, bring it to me. Looks like another brown, another little brown. There you go, well done, Laura. Wow, what a fish, her second one of the day. She's cleaning up, she's cleaning up. So there is a beautiful brown. What do you think of that, Laura? Amazing. Yeah, second one in her life. Nice size, yes. Let's just get that out quick, get the release quick. So beautifully in the top lip, as you can see there. Beautifully in the top lip. Let's just get that out quickly. There it is. Okay, all right. All right, Laura, wet your hands quickly. Wet your hands in the water. That's it. It's becoming a real angler, I love it. All right, come on out, come on out. You're gonna hold your fish up. Wait, 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 it's quite lively, quite lively. Wait, 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 quite lively still. Okay, put your hands out. Hold it there. Hold it up for the camera. How did that feel, Laura? Amazing. Ireland, right? Amazing. Ireland, yeah. Gordon Let Island. Go. Show us more of your fish. Show us more of your fish. That's it. want to see that. Wow. All right. She knows how to release it now. So put it back in the water. Hold it by the tail. Slowly back and forth. There you go. Just back and forth in the water. Get the gills to work. Give it, give it some nice clear water. That's it. Clear water. There you go. And off it goes. Let's see. Nice and quick catch and release. Laura, welcome to the world of fly fishing. Amazing, amazing. With Boar's Boom Fishing in <laughs> Ireland. Yeah. How would you feel? Good stuff, huh? Good stuff. I've gotten two. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. Wow. Good job, buddy. Good job. So just finishing out our tour of Ireland, and uh, it's been a fantastic event. You know, we started off uh, in a field, actually, in a place called Wexford, where Laura was learning to uh, cast a fly for the first time, or actually just use the fly rod. I actually did great in the field. Did just very good in the field, okay. Yeah. Then we went out to our first hatchery, which we didn't video, just sort of got everything together. Uh, you got to see how hard it is. And then uh, straight into the deep end, man, we went into one of the wild brown, uh, rivers and uh, you know the streams are tough and even if you're an advanced fisherman man they are tough to fish but we did well we weren't expecting to catch there uh, but you know managed to get some good skill work going got a couple of good takes on the river it's very difficult to do you know you've got trees and you've got everything around that make it extremely tough and the fish sit in certain areas and so on and then you come on out to a beautiful place like this and we, we've had three days of good fishing and uh, literally no rain so unbelievable and uh, Laura then cracked it today with two giant brown trout uh, which yeah. is great her first ever okay yeah. 
and I most certainly did well. I got a, a 10 plus pound rainbow trout, which is excellent. And I got a, a good six pound plus brown trout. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, we got our fish, we did well. Uh, the place is amazing, man. You know, you definitely Ireland is a place to come and see. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, as long as the weather's been as good as it has been, you know, it's just going to be the time of your life. So come on out and enjoy that. But uh, we did good. And uh, yeah, man, off tomorrow back to the States. Well done, buddy. You did really good. And uh, we, we've won, basically. I yeah. mean, we did what we came for. We yeah. came to learn how to fly fish, get the length on the casts. We got, uh, and at the end, to have enough skill to be able to pull in two great brown trout over six pounds yes i'm ready for the gum powder man boom boom gum powder united states ready to go another great uh episode here and uh boars bloom fishing on it as always guests are always welcome of course and uh most certainly looking forward to the next shows and uh you know having some contribution to some other fishermen out there who uh, enjoy the same thing we do and that is getting out into the outdoors and enjoying a great day's fishing yeah guys awesome. catch you later what a great event and i can't wait to see you guys on the next episode cheers thank you eddie yeah man boom all right man